Hello, welcome back. Today I decided to make uh, bread. Uh, it's gonna be with the uh, corn meal and uh, all-purpose flour together. Uh, so I don't know if you have ever uh, made that combination, but I do love it. So what I have here, uh, it's water with yeast. I have the corn meal fine grinded and I have all-purpose flour with salt and I do have some sour cream. If you do want to make this bread with no dairy, dairy free, you can just um, add more water uh, to, to the mixture. So let's get started. So first what we're gonna do, I will go ahead and add um, my flour, all-purpose flour with the salt. And then I will add my cornmeal flour. This is the cornmeal I'm using. It's a Goya brand fine yellow cornmeal. And I have my oil too. I forgot to bring my oil. I usually always use a little bit of oil in the bread. And then the sour cream. I'm using the full fat sour cream. You will have all the amounts in the description below from all of the ingredients. And then I will mix this uh, with my spoon together. Add a little bit more of flour. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this with my hand. I have to take my ring off. And then we're gonna mix this with uh, hand until combined. So you just go through um, and then uh, Mix all together with your hand. And if you need to add more flour, you add more flour. This is a very nice combination um, with the all-purpose all flour and corn. It tastes wonderful, I love it. And when you add the sour cream, then it gives that nice softness to the bread and also great taste. And here we go. Our dough is nice and ready when it doesn't stick anymore like that when it's uh, nice and soft and not sticking to your hands I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to um, my slightly oiled bowl right here and I will cover this and let it proof for one hour and um, I will see you later for the next step once it is uh, proved. And here we go. After one hour, the bread has proved. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, create the loaf.
just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and place uh, my loaf on the parchment paper inside of the baking dish. And here we go, I have my uh, um, loaf placed and uh, into the baking dish and it's gonna go and proof and I'll see you later. And here we are after 35 minutes, uh, the loaf has proofed. And what we need to do right now before baking, my oven is preheating at 425. I'm gonna go ahead and score the top with kitchen shears. You can use sharp knife. So I will just go ahead and uh, score on the top and uh, push down this little uh, sharp bumps because I'm using kitchen shears. I have to um, gently press on these little bumps. You can use knife like I said. It has to be sharp, so otherwise it's not gonna work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and brush the bread with uh, plain water and it will go in the oven at 425 and I will let you know how long it baked and I'll see you later after um, the baking. Here we go, it's baked, amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, brush the top with the melted butter, that's optional, you don't have to. And then I will go ahead and transfer it to cooling rack. It's amazing, amazing loaf. So if you do lo love uh, corn, uh, cornmeal or cornbread and you wanna try uh, the partial bread with the corn and also the wheat flour, go ahead and try it. It's absolutely amazing and it's a um, great loaf. There we go. I will definitely um, cut the slice once it's cooled and I will include that so you can see how it looks inside. And the crust is amazing and it will taste amazing as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Thank you.